Today in the studio, I've got two members of Echo Parks. They've just released their debut album called Tomorrow, Tomorrow, Today. And uh, that was, what, about a week ago now? Yeah. Yep, just over. So I better introduce you first of all. Of course, we've got Joe here and Nick. Hi. Um, I was going to ask about the title being Tomorrow, Tomorrow, Today. It sounds to me a little bit like procrastination. Um, Is that what it's about? Um, or am I just... uh, procrastination, yes. Um, <laughs> Although tomorrow, tomorrow, not today. No, it's the, yeah, it's people asking us the question, um, when's your album coming out, when's your album coming out, and there's always tomorrow, we're working towards it, it's going to be tomorrow, and then when we thought, well, it's actually going to be today when it comes out, so we thought, that's kind of cool, tomorrow, yeah. tomorrow, today. Okay. That so was... it's us, a statement of saying, here it is. Uh, that was going to be my next suggestion, perhaps. Um, it's been a little while in the making, how long have you guys been working on this album? About, so what, I, I joined the band about almost two years ago, Right. and since then we've just been writing, and mm -hmm recording kind yep. of and you know sessions here and there but cool. we kind of about three or four months ago went into the studio for a week and just finished everything off and wow yeah but then it was a quick turnaround from then to being out now is oh, um very fast so, that doesn't yeah. happen very often with bands it's always like oh yeah and it drags out so. now we just wanted to get into yeah. it really Congratulations. <laughs> it's crazy because we went in to do two songs and then um we had been putting money away to to work towards an album and then we got some funding for another single so then we had our own money aside so we sort of said well instead of doing two songs let's try and bash out six or seven and mm. we ended up even recording two songs that weren't written when we were recording the first song so it just kind of gelled us completely Bam. when we went album's coming and then we just said right we've got to do it. So Joe when you first kind of started Echo Park what did you have in mind because of course being that you're not a New Zealand native you know mm. came to New Zealand you were writing music what was your thoughts originally? Um, really just uh, to keep writing, you know, obviously I was playing with Jordan um, and he, we were always doing Jordan songs, but I was still writing. And, Jordan uh, like band, for those of you who don't know, he's... Yes. And uh, so I had these songs, I think there's only one song on the record though that lasts from back then. Um, mm -hmm. And then obviously met Joel, who, uh, let's get Augustino in there again, he won't like that. Um, <laughs> from Augustino so and his sort of kindred spirits as far as music goes you know he he was really into some music that I love that a lot of people I know weren't really into so that just sort of clicked and then I mean as we had Andrew and we had other people through the band and we never really felt settled and I think that's maybe it goes back to what you were saying where you know we've been slow because We've never really been settled, but then Nick and Callum joined a couple of years ago and it's just been full steam ahead. Since, since then it's been pretty went. bam, 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 eh? Yeah. So, so it kind cool. of feels like it all really started from then. Yeah, right. kind of set a bunch of goals, goals and went full on, really. Awesome. Great. Well, so last time I spoke to you, I kind of said that, you know, there were connections made. I said Biffy Clyro, you said yeah. Feeder, people talk about Feeder. With the album, is there anything different in there that people might, you, that you've drawn from that people might say, hey, you know? Yeah, I guess, um, yeah, Foo Fighters we get a lot. Yeah. Um, oh, it's, wow. it's funny though, because none of us really listen to just to the Foo <laughs> Fighters. I mean, they're yeah. always the sort of, for me, they're the sort of band that are always going to be on your iPod, but yeah. I don't rush out to buy them. But I yeah. guess, I think it's a bit of a case, because Nick can be into some heavy stuff, and our bass player, who's just a bit whacked in the head, he's, in, he's into some really weird stuff, and Joel, mm. Joel's into his sort of glam and crappy music and then I even it out with some, good music. some other good music. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a bit of it's a bit of that. So I can sort of see where the Foo Fighters comes in. Right, but we, okay. we had a really awesome review on Sunday um, in the Sunday news, but they mentioned that band that we don't like. What were they called? Thirty Seconds to Mars. Thirty seconds to Mars. Apparently we're like thirty seconds to Mars. Yes. The Kiwi thirty seconds to Mars. Interesting. We'll take it. Did, yeah, maybe it's the here? Could be. Oh, no. okay. Yeah, right. There okay. was a typo. It said 30 seconds from Mars, so maybe there's another band. Maybe, there's a, maybe it's a whole new thing. It could yeah. be a whole new thing. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you've got a brand new video for your song called My Crime. Yes. Tell me about this. Um, we did it at in the city at a bar called Father Ted's. Oh, yeah. Cool. Um, and we got up at about 4 o'clock in the morning and we started drinking beer and pizza. <laughs> it would have been dark, so it would have felt quite normal. It right? was awesome. It yeah. was. I mean, as weird. we turned up, people were still actually there from the night before. And that would have made it very authentic. It was going it, off. It was yeah. pretty authentic. It's a good way, very diplomatic way to put it. <laughs> Boydy. Yeah. Authentic. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we did it. Um, we finished at about 10 in the morning and it really just relates to the song which Joe wrote. <laughs> the lyrics though, which yeah. um, is about a night out. It's an apology. Yeah. I got, I got a bit drunk on stage and I wrote a song to apologise. Hey. 
More others could potentially. That was a good night though, I was there. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, sorry, I missed that one. Yeah. Well, uh, before we go into that video clip, I have got, let's turn this the right way. I've got three of these to give away, so if you would like it, Hit Endzone up on Facebook, it's really, really easy. It's just N-Z-O-W-N on Facebook. And uh, send me a message, I will choose some three punters at random. Let's go check out nice. your video. Thanks Thank for coming you. in, guys. Thank you very much. See you, Boydie. Echo Park, my crime.